You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop. Thanks for stopping by. I do appreciate it very much. Today is almost done day. That meaning I have this set and one more set to complete all of the Dr. Dreadful set I have seen over the years. Now, this set has been elusive to me because I originally bought a box and it was missing three or four key small pieces, which I did not realize when I bought it. And it was kind of too late to say, hey, what happened? Why did you do that? So when you're buying stuff on eBay, verify. Make sure they confirm everything is complete. Maybe the pictures aren't very good or whatever. Sometimes they say complete and don't realize that the smallest of pieces are missing. So that's what happened. So from a collector's standpoint, it's taken me, what, 12 years to finally get to this point? So to make this complete, because no one is selling parts, I had to buy a second one. Now, I don't think either of these had the actual refills. They might have some. I mean, the mixes. So I had to buy a refill. So by the time you're done, uh, you could be spending 40 50 bucks to find both sets and all the refills. Now, you can find this right now on eBay for almost $90. That's what people are selling them for. Uh, they're just getting harder and harder to find. Sometimes they try to sell them for more. That doesn't mean they're going to get that much money. But uh, that's what they want. And this is originally from... Toys R Us. How cool is that? And right, so what do I need to do? Well, let's check. Now, I forgot which one was the one I originally bought and which one was the one that had the replacement pieces that I needed. And that's the thing. So now what I'm going to have to do is take pieces out of one, put them in the other, and then all of a sudden I won't have one complete set and one incomplete set, and I'll have to sell the pieces. Now, the Dr. Dreadful rack, yes, it's a whole shelf on a rack, is eventually going to make its return every set. And maybe more of like a history in going through every set video. Alright, so that's this one. Yeah, upside down. Things are falling out. This is what the piece I think was missing, one of those. And you don't know until you actually get into it. The thing about Dr. Dreadful's is they had a nice parts list. You now, sometimes I have to admit, you're in a hurry, you see something, you know, oh, I'm going to buy that, I have to have that, need that, that's the last set, I'm going to get it, and then, oh, too late. So this is the operating table. That's there. The bowl. One, two, three... Three molds and one molding backing plate. Right now what you're seeing is how a collector would kind of go through and solve the dilemma. All right, so that's that. This is this, but very carefully you have to realize that there's four electrodes. So that is separate on the sheet. Okay, so that. So we need the two spoons. Okay, so already this one here is missing one of the spoons. This has the one large spoon, and it's missing the organ spoon. I hope that's in that other box. This is the cutting tool, which is up there. One wedge. It's supposed to be two of the bearings. Two tubes, which I have. The crank, the plunger, and the bracket. So, I am actually missing a bearing and an organ scoop. So now we know that. So let's put this back and then let's check how complete the other one is. And then of course this one didn't have packets. They should have been right there. Okay, so one bearing. Hopefully the other bearing is there. And the one piece All right, so let's check out this one. Let's go this way. I think I had it this way. I'll show you the box in more detail once I realize which one I'm gonna do. Now, what I'm doing now is something that I would totally do off video, prep, get ready, see if I have everything, and then go from there. And I'd start the video, but I'm doing this on video. This one had two mixes. It's a different inside of the box. Same set, different inside of the box. Okay, so this is there. This is there with the four little pieces. Okay, let's go over this again. Now this set looks actually nicer. 
the card. Not as bent up, still a few bends, so we'll put this one with that one. Okay, so the plunger. I'll try to put them on the side of the page that they're on. The armature with a mixing bowl. This piece. Okay, this is a good sign. This is all here it's in the back. So we have that, the two tubes, and the three molds plus the backing plate. All right, so this is the ticket. Ah, this has the two bearings. Oh, and that other one was missing the straw. Okay, so now we have the two spoons. We have the bracket. We have the washer, which I think I missed in the other one too. And then the wedge, that, and that. So this one is complete. So what I'll have to do is just completely sell the other one is incomplete or parted out because people want a lot more money for these it's been hard and hard to get and I only I have one more set which is rare to go and it's the last set in this series so I'm excited about that all right so let's get this in here let's get this in here so now if I'm coming back now now think about this this has not happened on camera so you didn't see anything You did not witness this whole opening. And now I know I have the refills. So this one is rare to go. And I have backup pieces if I need it. Backup mixes. There's two extra ones in here. Okay, so now I would do this. I'd bring this down. I'd center this. I make it look all nice and even. Probably going a little bit lower to go straight on as possible. And what I'm looking at is this top edge. And right now it's a little bit crooked. So I'm just going to kind of straighten it out. Center it to the camera. So now I'm looking this side and then this side. What's the distance? I get it as close as I can. I'm going to come down a little bit more. And there you go. And then I start. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop. Thanks for stopping by today. I do appreciate it. It's time to check out the Dr. Dreadful Monster Medical Center. Now, this is part of a series that I've been doing for over 10 years of all the different Dr. Dreadful sets. This one makes monsters, make monsters, treat them, and eat them, like all the other ones. But this one's kind of unique with the tubes and the way you spin it. And uh, I'm anxious to show it to you. Let me turn this around here. We've seen the artwork on the front. Now, I have a video of all the different artwork over the entire history of Dr. Dreadful. I hope you can check that one out. I'll put a link in the description area. It's from Tycho, ages six and up. I do like to show you all the different features on the box, so let's not move too quick here. So bottom left corner says, make monsters, fill them with guts, operate and eat them. Fill the monster with guts, operate, eat him up, eat him up, guts and all. Oh, so you just bite the whole thing. So right here, it looks like you're filling him with the different flavorings. Mm. Looks gross, yes it does. Tastes great, I hope so. There is the side, Toys R Us, 1999 originally, now 80 bucks. Can you imagine that? This is from July, 1980, used by. And more artwork there, the back is probably, oh there's all the nutritional information. The back is probably gonna show you other sets, look at that. Like I said, I have one more set. Maybe I'll show that at the end. So, let's see here. Now you can be a monster doctor. Make monsters, treat them and eat them. Make monsters with the monster maker, then fill them with guts and organs. Operate, then gobble down the monster's guts and all. They're so delicious. Oh, that sounds so great. And then in the top, it says make Monster body organs, mold hearts, livers, lungs, and more, a buffet of body parts. Yum! And then back here now, make monsters, fill them with guts and operate, pour in the monster mix, crank up the monster maker, fill them with tasty guts, operate, then eat the monster guts and all. That's, that's a lot going on. A lot of monster gut eating and all that. Look for these four tasty sets to cure all your monster's ailments. I've done all four of these on video now. Uh, the Heartburn Brew, 
blister fixer, tapeworm tonic, and bug lotion. It's neat that I can say that I've done all those. The body rob set, the drain of veins set, and the creepy clinic. For more Dr. Dreadful MD Fun, look for refills. Okay, I've done all three of those, I believe. There's only one I have not done now, so. But let's do this. Let's check out the box and take out all the pieces. Ah, I know. You already did that, but I'm just going along with it. I'll be right back. Just so you know, from when I bought the original one, it was probably six years later that I was able to find an, an inexpensive set that someone was selling with the pieces. Now, if I had bought this set originally, I'd have better off, right? But you just don't know. The time to buy an antique, they say, is when you see it. Because if you walk out the door, someone's going to come behind you and buy it. All right, so let's check out all these pieces. All right, so we have two mixes in the one, the Monster Mix Yellow and the Organ Mix. The refill should handle all of this for us. The bowl. And then let's just put some pieces in there. Okay. The main base. This piece of the base. Okay, this is cool. So the decals or the stickers were already put on by somebody. It looks like they did a good job. Thankful for them. Now this is your Dr. Dreffel School of Monster Medicine Gooey Gut Surgeon and Monster Organ Transplant Surgeon from Dr. D's School of Monster Medicine. I've shown this many a times. And you just fill it out and get your diploma. This big piece. The crank, the plunger, the different molds. There's two tubes. And then the backing plate. So that's going to stay on there when this is and hold it in place. And there's the little organ pieces. Do you see that? You've got uh, lungs, bones, hearts, brains, and other things. All right. So now step one is to go over all the pieces. And then step two is to kind of assemble this. Well, I'll come back. Let me come back. I'll make a little more room here, and I will assemble the Monster Medical Center. Okay, so I did go ahead and give everything a bath. I wanted to get these drying. Boy, there's a lot of water in that. I didn't drain it good enough. These things I don't really need to make the set. I just uh, let's say it looks like you push those tabs. Okay, that can all go off to the side. Now you take this, okay, looking at the instructions, numero one, you take this piece and then you put in, let's see, and they just show it going over this. I'm not sure what it does, but that goes there, then two. It says snap the two bearings onto the armature, armature as shown. What two bearings? They only show one. Oh, top and bottom. Okay, those are important, and that set was missing one, so that's why I never really was able to finish this. And then two, slide the washer onto the handle. Okay. Keeping the washer in place, insert the handle to the back of the gear as shown. This is the back of the gear. Okay. Insert the armature assembly into the front of the large gear and snap handle into as shown. Okay. I see. I'm not getting a good snap. I'm not seeing if there's a certain way. Yeah, so it has to go this way. That, oh, well, there you go. That's the snap. Okay, I see. So these bearings uh, run along this plastic wheel and it makes that smooth Plastic to plastic, rubber to plastic, and then the gearing. Look at the gearing. Okay. Now the next step is already done. 
Insert the four electrodes into the bases shown. Done. And now this goes into this, and then this is where this wedge... Okay, so the handle goes in the back. All right, insert the large gear assembly into the base. See the illustrations to the right. Secure the gear assembly to the base by inserting the wedge with the level, double side down on the underside of the unit, as shown. Okay, the good thing about this is that they made it so that you can easily take this apart by just removing your wedge. Bevel side down. Perfect. That's nice, because you can take the toy apart easily, right? Okay, next is the tubes. So they go through here. Wait, my both ends are cut. One's cut on an angle, one's not. So it looks like... These go this way. Assembling the operating table. Insert the tubes into the opening on the base as shown. On the underside of the operating table, insert the tubes into the stems that are below the cylinders. Be sure to insert the, insert the tubes correctly. Okay. Well, how do I know what correctly is? It almost looks like the cut edge should go in, but it's not. They show the cut edge out. And then this is supposed to go in here. Mm-hmm. Oh, I think that's correctly. This one's easier to put in. I can't tell if there's a capping out point. See, this edge has a little angle cut. And then they show that here. They're very specific. See the angle? And then the straight edge went in, they show the straight edge, angle edge. And then, now, let's see. Connect that to this. Okay. Insert the other ends of the tubes through the bracket openings. Okay, through. Got it. And then install the bracket by attaching the hinge and then snapping down the opposite side. Attaching to the hinge. Oh, I see. This is the hinge. So it looks like, that's the way I have this in the picture. And then the tubes are in front, but they work to the back. Maybe I should just do it this way and see how this hinge works. And then I can put those tubes back in without twisting. Yeah, okay. It doesn't tell me which, you know, one goes which way, one goes the other way. Okay. Where are the two? It says, fit the plunger into the chambers on the base of the operating table. So maybe this just stays here and you're using that as your operating table. And this suction here it's gonna draw the liquid or push the liquid through the tubes and then you're using these tubes you're putting your monster down there and that's how yeah okay so later on they show this the tubes are out of the little top piece it's kind of more just a storage so really that's for storing these can stay out and then you go from there you do your stuff then you insert the tube. But we'll see. You know, it's kind of like a learning curve, right? And then we have the straw. Everything is drying off to the side. Let's just check out what's in the uh, refill pack now. Okay, this was reduced to three dollars and ninety-five cents from four ninety something. One pouch of the Monster Mix, the Organ Mix, the Blue Guts, and the Flavor Packet. And there is the set there. So we've seen it. We know what to do. Let's just see the mixes. Hopefully they're in a bag in a bag or something. Minimum. They're not. They're just open. I wish they were in a, another plastic bag. They should have been. But they are. They do seem pretty pristine. Let's see. Organ mix, powder, powder, good, 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 good. 
So this has cherry monster mix, which is that one, yellow, organ mix. This one actually, this packet looks better than this packet. So that's why having the backup packet, it's kind of got a little brown twinge to it. I don't know if you can see it, but okay, so that's good to go. Plus they give you a whole other set of instructions with the, the set. So let us begin. I need some water. Making monsters. Oh boy, look at that. Note, do not use any household food or beverages in this set without parental approval. Parental supervision is suggested when children are using hot water. Combine two and a half teaspoons of monster mix and three teaspoons of hot water in bowl. Note, when you run out of monster mix, you can use organ mix. Pour mixture into one of the two monster molds. Snap the backing plate into place. Note, the snaps will only fit in one way. Rotate the mold with your hands to coat the inside of the surface of the monster mold with the monster mix. Insert the ball end of the mold, filled mold in the hole beneath the small gear on the monster maker and snap bottom into place. All right, come on. Let us see. So this only goes in one way because there's a large tab and then a smaller tab. So looking at this, it's gonna go this way. It's hard to believe that this has got such a space that you're not gonna lose liquid out of this. I don't get that. Okay, so okay, so there's a round end and then a square end. Let's see. Let's read that again. So now you're rotating this around. You're making it all happen, and then it says insert the ball end, which is this one, into the top, and then this into here. Yeah, I can't see how it's not just going to go everywhere, but. And then rotate the handle of the monster maker slowly about eight turns per minute. That's slow. One, two. You just want to go, but you're not supposed to. Eight turns per minute. What the heck is that? One minute. Start. One. Two, three, for four minutes, four, we're almost halfway, five, six, Seven, oh my. Eight, that's 15 seconds left. I'm going too fast. So this is how slow you need to go for four minutes. Oh boy, I better think of something to say for that four minutes because I'm definitely gonna record the whole four minutes. I really don't see that this is gonna stay together. That was one minute. All right, well, I'm almost thinking you want to put something on here to hold this tighter. It's so loose. If it's a fail for number one, then we know why. All right, so I got to do all that. Then after all that, remove the mold from the monster maker and place the mold in the freezer with backing plate side down for four to five minutes. If left in the freezer too long, run hot water over mold for 10 seconds and let it sit for 30 seconds before separating. While you're waiting for your monster, you can move on to the making guts. All right, ooh, making the guts. You gotta mix two flavors, put them in there, and then place them out, okay. And then the end piece is making organs. Mix together in the bowl three organ scoops of the organ mix powder and five organ scoops of hot water. Spoon the mixture in the organ, okay. Eat them as is, mold them in your monster by adding them to the monster mix, place them inside an already made hollow monster body. So I might wanna do that to get that out of the way so I have them, so I can insert them in the body. Oh, so that's what the straw is for. You're going to take your monster who's filled with all this gelatinous stuff. Now remove the tubes and bracket if used and practice operating by cutting the monster open with the cutting tool. Eat it as is or insert straw through the tube hole and suck out the guts. Then eat your monster. Ugh. It just all sounds so brutal. Doctor, what's going on? All right. I'm ready. Hot water. 
Well, now, let me do this. Let me make those little candy pieces first. Making organs. Okay, I'm going to do that. Let's make the organs so I've got those for inserting them into this monster. Okay, so I heated up some water in a measuring cup and I transferred it to that cup. It's just going to be easier. Now I need to see this particular mix. So this is the organ mix. I'm just going to put it out there. Okay, it has that little like uh, black powder in it that I've seen before, but we're just gonna run with it at this point. I'll just scoop that off to the side and try to find the fresh powder. Okay, in the bowl, three organ scoops of the organ mix powder and five organ scoops. Now when they say organ, I'm guessing that's the big one. Maybe the small one? This one? I don't know. I can't read it. Let me see. Hold on. Let me look at that instructions real quick. Working scoops. It looks like the little one. That's a tiny, tiny bit. Yeah. This is the organ scooper. Okay. It's hard to read. It says organ scoop on one side and then blister scoop on the other. So the organ scoop is the bigger side. Wow, that just seems like a tiny, tiny amount. Three organ scoops. All right, let me get the little mixer here. All right, here we go. It doesn't say big scoops. Isn't that a tiny, tiny bit? And five organ scoops of the hot water. One. Ooh, did you see that? Two. It's green. Three. Four. Five. Oh, so where those little darker crystals were, that's the blue. Ooh, it smells good. Definitely not the right tools for this. Now it says, and place, okay, spoon the mixture into the organ mold. All right, here we go. One. Two. Three. Maybe it is enough. Already setting. Then we can get the little heart. Okay, let me make another quick batch of that. I think I'm just gonna go right into it and use what's in there. Or not. No, I probably shouldn't. Let me just give this a quick. You almost need a spatula, like a regular cake spatula, to do this right. Good enough. So four. So three scoops of the mix. You almost, if I did it a, a, like a big scoop like that, it probably would have been better. And five scoops of water. I'm just gonna mix it with this. Yeah, this would have been better to mix it with this the first time. Might as well put it on there. Make it really poofy because the bottom's set already for the most part. 
There, now I got a poofy organ. Perfect. Let me give you a real close up of my organs. The only reason I didn't do close up there is because you would just see the back of my hand every time I was. Well, I'd have to do it off the side. So, what I was basically doing was just kind of adding some to the top of the already set ones. And it's staying. See, it's already set. So, that's it. That's good. Perfect. Organs are made. All right. Let me put that in the fridge. Actually, I could probably just leave it. Because I'm not going to need it for a while. And then I will start the next step. Okay, so this is a process now. So I'm going to have, the, there's a little Frankenstein and this weird looking, blobby looking creature. Looks like his tongue's hanging out. There's his eyes. It's hard to see to really grasp that. Let's do that one first. All right, so let's get this out. We're doing the Monster Mix. So it says, uh... Three teaspoons of the Monster Mix. Now I've been putting everything in the bowl like this and then I can keep the individual mixes because they look very much the same now as the organ mix and it, it could very well be. So three teaspoons. Oh no, wait, yeah, three teaspoons, that's half a teaspoon. Combine two and a half teaspoons of Monster Mix. One. Two. And a half. Now we can move that off to the side. And then let me transfer my hot tap water here. And then remember now, I'm going to put this in here, do it in my hands, then come here and go four minutes. Oh boy. Three teaspoons of hot water into the bowl. One. Ooh, it's brownish but it's supposed to be yellow. Three. What's that supposed to be? Yellow. Almost smells like a banana or some crusty looking color there. Very crusty. Okay, so then now, pour this into here. I was thinking maybe that the, that this thing, you know, they say turn it, you know, maybe I'm, I'm holding it now and then it says, rotate the mold with your hands to coat the inside of the surface. Okay. Then insert it into this. Now they had this, I practiced this, so. And now here we go, it's four and a half minutes or so. Four minutes of really slow. I see it moving around in there. Right, let me get my timer set. Clock, four minutes. Start, okay, here we go. Nothing's leaking. That little drop's probably bothering me. Let's get it out of there. Ooh, it's already solidified. I think this view would be better. I hate to stop. You can see it moving around in there.
there's still big chunks moving around. When you hold it here, you see a bunch down here, and then as you turn it, it kind of moves itself around, slowly coating. That's probably why they have you do this for four minutes to get it as evenly coated and slowly coated. It's only been two minutes. That's what makes the best hollow monster. So we want the best. Okay, now there's less building up. That'd be a tough calculation for a six-year-old to figure out, you know, eight turns per minute, how slow that is. And, and you know, me, I'd probably just want to rocket ship this thing. You know, gravity, like gravity and G-forces push all the mix out. Hey, and there's still a bunch on the bottom, so I'm just going to keep going. Uh, another minute still. Now the other thing could be that the mix is bad and it's just not hardening up. I don't know. I mean, there's a nice coating there and then when you go here you see still a bunch on the foot part. So I'm not going to stop. Let me hold it here to let it work down the body, the front. Now that's definitely holding down the front. Now don't be shocked. It's gonna timer's gonna go off. I don't see much movement in there. Okay, so do that and then uh, remove the mold from the Monster Maker and place the mold in the freezer with backing side for four to five minutes. Okay, so the back down. So that's why I'm going to release this. I'll put that in the freezer and I will be back. All right, so now, that's been four minutes by the way, I am going to, oh, this is step six. So carefully remove the backing plate. On there pretty good. Come on, you can do it. Don't be shy. Oh, I think we have it. Depends on how the front came out. And then with your fingers, then pull. Okay, loosen the outer edge. It's like rubber. Is that not the coolest thing? Let's get this all out of my way. It's interfering with my background. Oh, look at that. Oh boy, oh he worked. There, we have a monster. Okay, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make the second one so we have more to play with. So let me grab Frankenstein and see if it's the same color. You see the little brown specks? That's the brown stuff, so I might sift that out. We'll see. All right, let me uh, let me make another one. Okay, um, there's only yellow, so I'm gonna try one of the packets from the refill. Yeah, it just looked like a crisper packet, so let's see. Are there any little black shards? There are no black shards in this one. This is perfect yellow powder, so let's try it with that one. Okay, so two and a half teaspoons of Monster Mix. Now, I kind of did, I went a little bit over, but I'm going to be careful not to go too far over. Two and a half. Okay. 
And then uh, three teaspoons of hot tap water. I just buzz it in the micro for like 30 seconds. Here we go. That one's a little light. I'm just going to add a tiny bit more. Okay. It does look like a better consistency. All right, here we go. Frankenstein. Now this, then this, turn it around in your hand a few times. Here we go. I'm kind of pinching it as I do this. It's actually setting already. Hmm, let's get this on here. Let's see. Let's set the timer. I actually think this one's not going to turn out. Eh, maybe it's moving around a little bit. I kind of wanted to let it sit flat to get more on the back, like that, and let that settle. Slowly I turn, step by step, inch by inch. Okay, that looks better. Let that set just a little. I kind of want it this angle right there. What I'm getting is a like a visual on the, the mix. Let's see. Okay, there. There's just a tiny little section there, but otherwise, I think that's pretty good now. So I'll be happy with that. Let's hopefully, hopefully it turns out. If not, we'll do it again. I have to have a Frankenstein. Boy, I wish I had the other set handy. I can sh put that in the background, but. I feel about 80% that we got this one. I mix it just as fast, but it's set up quicker. All right, so the last thing that I need to do is mix the two blue and red, the blue and red, and get those so that they pump in to my monsters. Two minutes, two minutes. Can we zoom in even more? Well, maybe I'll do that during editing. Slowly I turn. Step by step. I feel we have a good coating. You know it's on the monster side because I poured it in there first. So it's just a matter of a thin layer going to the back. I don't see any movement in there like I did last time. Ooh, we're getting a squeaky wheel. Now it did say for the best monster four minutes. So if you're not sad, if you don't want, if you're not, if you're in a hurry, if you're in a hurry, just do this in the freezer. Like go into a giant walk-in freezer, dress properly, and that'll go faster. If not, take four minutes of your time turning your wheel. It's cool seeing the gears go around. Let's do one more top-down view. How's that?
because it is that's my perspective basically well, it's kind of neat you see the dial here with the the electricity you hear it you hear the electricity Thirty seconds. I feel the only spot, and I'm looking at it here, is somewhere by his the front of his legs, and you can only see it on a certain angle. That's too fast. One one thousand. Two timers gonna go off. Don't be alarmed. Don't be alarmed. Don't be alarmed. Here we go. Four minutes. And off to the freezer. It looks pretty good. All right. Okay, so the first guy has been sitting off to the side. He settled pretty good. I kind of had him angled just a little. And it went a little flat on that side, but I think we can still work with him. All right. I took a picture of this guy resting in the freezer, so we'll see if that comes out. Now this one didn't make that sound, that that cool. Ooh, so that did turn out. There's a little hole there. But I think we can work with that. We'll put the tube in there. See, that was not even the spot I thought there would be an issue. Oh, he came out good. Oh, and it's... The, that hole only goes in part way, so we'll still be able to use this one. All right, there you go. Uh, bad mix, good mix. Don't eat, maybe that one. All right, now it's making the guts. So I will come back. Right, tell you what, let me grab the little bits and pieces. These never made it to the fridge, but they've settled up pretty good. Let's get them all on my operating tray little bones the heart another little bone and they're kind of bulbous I don't know what that is some type of body organ that looks like the intestines and this is the lungs Okay, zoom in so you could see the lungs. All right, so that's that. So that's all good. Let me get set up for the next step. Now, this is actually pumping in the liquids. Now, they're going to stay liquid, so I don't have to worry about those settings. I should be able to just, you know, have no issues there like this, but we shall see. All right, the next step is the guts on the inside. Now, I was looking at this, and I think they had the graphic wrong on this. Because they show the monster going in straight, but then they show the red and blue top and bottom. How could that be? Because you're putting it in the bottom of the monster. You'd have to turn the monster completely sideways to make it both, right? So I'm not sure what they were going for there because the tube would be here. Here, I'll show you. The tube would be, let's say we put the monster here. The tube would be here and here, which means... It should be red on one side and blue on the other. That's the way I'm seeing it. Maybe you're seeing something different. I don't know. Maybe you're not seeing anything because you didn't know until I pointed it out. Right, let's just do this. I'm going to do this. Uh, well, I could do this one of two ways. I could just mix it in my little bowls and then I don't have to wash the purple bowl. I can make one in the purple bowl and one in my little glass bowl and be good. But either way, let me just take this one out. It's blue, I mean. not Oh, purple bowl, yeah. Blue flavoring. All right. In bowl, mix a half a teaspoon of the blue guts and one and a half teaspoons of the water. So let's do that one in this one. Half a teaspoon. Okay. And that's going to go in here. Now, I don't think it's going to set up, so I think we're good. And then one and a half teaspoons of water. One. So it's, yeah, it's very liquidy. Two. Pour guts into one of the cylinders. 
Okay, so yeah, this works good because this has a little pore spot. Let's put that back there with that. One of the cylinders. Okay. Now we don't want anything that's going to block up the tube. They could really use a spatula on this set. Okay. All right, let me go rinse it. I'll just use it because it came with the set, so I'll be right back. Okay, try to do that as quick as possible. Now the cherry. Looks very nice as well. Okay, so we're lucky. Everything's been good in that refill pack. Now. Let's see, is it the same thing? And then bowl mix together a half a teaspoon of the flavor packet. Half a teaspoon. I probably should have just doubled this for the monsters. And then one and a half teaspoons of the water. Okay, teaspoon. Doesn't say warm water either. It definitely looks bloody and thick. Ugh. Okay, in goes the next color. We'll leave those chunky bits up here. Oh, it looks like they would fit through the tube. All right, now. Now, option one. There's two options. Option one, place the monster onto the operating table. Okay, did all. Place the monster onto the operating table. Let's use this defective one first. Let's get this out of the way. Let's lift this up. Now let's get this out of the way. Okay, place the monster onto the table first. Okay, then we clip this over. Oh, he's strapped in tight. So tight he's bulging out the little thing. Option two is you could just poke him anywhere. So if I wanted to, to show the one in the picture, which I'll do on the second one, you could put one here and one there. So we're just going to now poke this in. Let's see. Let's get everything out of the background. It's interfering. Let's move this out of the way. Let's move all this out of the way. And let's see if we can poke this in. Without poking the bottom. I can't tell if it's in. It looks like it's in. I think I need to kind of support this a little bit. It's tough to, tough monster to get through. Okay, there, I had to move it. All right, I think that one's in. Now this one. It did say you might have to move some things to get it in there all the way. Okay, we don't know. I don't know. It's hard to tell. We'll see if it gets everywhere. So now put the plunger in. Put the plunger into the cylinders and slowly press the plunger. Okay, so I wonder if this will be the better angle. We'll know right away. Slowly press the plunger. Look at the two tubes. Now 
I'm slowly pressing the plunger and it's looks like it's going in. I can't tell because of that ugly color of the gummy. Oh yeah, something's going in. It's in there. Ooh, the blue. Ooh, I got a leaker. Must have popped a hole in my monster. The red is in though. It's definitely not a thin liquid. Okay, let's take that out. Let's take that out. Oh, that's disgusting. Okay, so the red is in, the blue, oh, look at that. That's terrible. But look at this. So his guts are in there. Well, while he's on the operating table, let's cut him open. No, these are, it's just, it was just hard to see with all those little flakes of stuff. Oh, okay, there's a hole where that tube is. I don't know, let's see if we can squeeze this in there. Oh, yeah, it went right, oh, disappeared. Oh, my. Let's put a bone in this one. See that little hole? <laughs> All right. Okay, so yeah, I should have made a double batch of that. So now let me move this guy out of the way. He didn't turn out too hot, but we get the idea now. So you go over to your plate. We'll see you again in a little bit. Now I need to wash this whole thing out, clean the tubes, and mix another batch. Okay, I'm now drying all this. And what I've determined is, one, it's not the easiest thing to clean, but you can put water in those little chambers and then pump it out. But for some reason, it's just, there's a lot in there. You just can't see it. It sits in this gasket area. It's like open, so it all fills in there. So you lose some there. And then this tube popped out. So then I'm thinking, yeah, um, it was really hard to see on that first one. So hopefully, all right, so now if I pull this one out, it should squirt all this water out pressure wise. See it through the tubes. And then every time I pull it back out, there was even more color in there, so it was weird. And I think that's because I didn't clean out the, hard to clean out that other piece. So what I would do, since I'm new to this set, I would probably make it a little thinner, because it just seems too thick. I don't know if it's old or what. And then, let's put these back in here for storage. I'd probably just poke them from the side instead of the top. It makes more sense, because I couldn't see with my dirty mix. All right, here's what I'm gonna do. Let me grab, I wasn't 100% prepared here. I didn't wash the bowl. Let me just grab a new bowl, a couple bowls, so I don't have to wash each step now that we're in kind of like testing mode. Ah, well, let me wash it. I need to clean it anyway. See what I mean here, look. That blue is coming out of this gasket. I'll be back now that that's all clean. That's ready. Okay, so half a teaspoon. I'm gonna do a teaspoon because I want more, more stuff. Doing the red first this time. And then it should be two and a half teaspoons. No, it would be three, one, two, three teaspoons. So I'm gonna do three and a little bit more of water now to give it a little extra thinness. Now we're going to a new level. This is the new level of Dr. Dreadful, tiny experimental change, but that's the whole thing about these kits. You can use regular foods, remember it said, just ask an adult for supervision.
mixing this one a little bit better in case some of those chunks were causing the blockage in my arteries here. better now okay let's do the blue okay let's get the blue two of these half a tea or oh, one of these <sighs> almost messed that up three of these though a little and then mix it better I think this one I'm gonna poke from the sides which to me makes a lot more sense they should have made it so that it just poke from the sides and there was no chance of poking the bottom just a slight redesign that's all they could have just made a plastic tube on this, a plastic holder on this side, a plastic holder on that side, and just pushed the tubes in from the bottom and top. My opinion. Strictly my opinion. That one even looks, still looks thick. Okay, now we'll be able to see better because it's easier to see, it's clearer. Let's bring him in. Last patient. Oh, he's got to come out. I forgot. And let's just move this completely out of the way. I forgot. Well, let's just do that. And then we can poke it here. See? Poke. Poke his head. Sorry, Frankenstein. Ooh, that's thick. There's a lot, a lot of gelatin in there. I got to get all the way into there. Okay, I think we're through. Yep. Now this should look cool. Here we go. We're losing some here, probably because of the extra... Here it comes. There we go. Now it's just pure pressure. Lots of pressure, two hands now, here we go. It's probably just stuff and little debris pieces that are in the tubes, but it's going through the tubes pretty good. I got almost all my force on that, a little bit more. Okay, he's perfect. Remember, he had a lot in his head. Poor guy. I should do this in here so we can kind of see it. How much is coming out. Let's go this way. Let's see if any more comes out. Yeah, see? It's the blue. The red comes out nice. It's the blue that's chunkier and slower. All right. Okay, what do we want to do to him now? We want to put something in him. 
Let's let's uh let's try him first. Let's poke a hole through here. Okay. Now I should be able to give him a taste. Let's go, monster. Okay. I got some of it. Oh, look at that. It just it just looks like coagulated blood. It's pretty brutal. Let's get some pieces in him. Let's make an incision here. Let's open them up. Let's get this organ in here. There you go. Oh. One more little bone. There, how does he look? Mm. Now what do you do, do you bite him? Do you just chop him up? Do I squish him on a plate? Yeah, let's squish it. Let me get another, oh, I can use this plate. We'll just set that guy there. A nice white surgical countertop now. Oh yeah. There he is. Now, this, of course, you're supposed to eat the whole thing. So before I eat them, I do want to do a little squishing, see? All the guts in there. Oh, look at that. It's gruesome, but still fun. All right. Oh, let me taste this gummy part. See how thick that was? I had to go through all that to put that tube in. Mmm. It's like meat gristle. Mmm, yeah. Let's bring this guy back in. He didn't have as much in him. He's got some in him. See, look. Oh, his organ piece popped out. Ugh. That's brutal. All right, here we go. One more squish to kind of get all of his guts out and see what's left. Ooh, there you go. Mix them in with this, guys. Mm. Oh, this little organ piece popped out. Ooh, what does that organ taste like? Let's try it. Mm. That actually tastes pretty good. It's like a blueberry. Look at my fingers. All right, well, I think I've said enough and done enough. I think it was fun. I had fun. Could you tell? Did we learn about the set and the history? Yes. Did we check out how a collector goes through his parts and pieces and has to buy different sets? Yes. And then we get to taste them at the end. We did. But thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. I had fun making it. One more set. One more. Can't wait to do it. I'll mention it in the description area, which is the last set. And hopefully I can get to that one soon. And again, thanks for watching. Later. If you're looking for the item you just saw in the video, click here. Watch more videos by clicking here. Don't forget to share on social media and give a thumbs up. Hey, LPS Dave. What's up, Butch? Make sure they don't forget to subscribe. Oh, yeah. Please click here to subscribe to Lucky Penny Shop. And always remember when you see a lucky penny, pick it up.